Welcome to the weekly Dear Dr. Mao. Today I would like to talk about the role of Chinese herbal medicine in cancer recovery. Later on in the episode, I will share with you three Chinese herbs used to support patients with cancer. Now, Chinese herbal medicine has been used to treat cancer conditions for several thousands of years. Over the last few decades, Chinese medicine has been combined with Western medicine in an integrative approach to take care of cancer patients with good results. While Western medicine focuses on using chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery to eradicate the symptoms of cancer, Chinese medicine sought to restore the underlying imbalance that caused cancer cells to be formed in the first place. In addition, the side effects of Western medicine for cancer has been found to be difficult to tolerate for many patients. So the role of Chinese medicine in the United States has been to boost patients' life force and immunity while at the same time reduce side effects from chemotherapy and radiation and all the while improving patients' quality of life. This approach came to be known as Fu Zheng therapy. Fu Zheng means to optimize and restore what is normal and according to researchers from the University of California, San Francisco, quote, Fu Zheng therapy produces possible diverse biologic effects that include reduced tumor load, prevent recurrence of formation of a new primary cancer, bolster immune system, and prevent control and treat adverse side effects caused by conventional treatments for cancer, end quote. Here, I would like to share with you three Chinese herbs used in Fu Zheng therapy. The first herb is astragalus, or huangqi. It is the most commonly used Fu Zheng herb for cancer care and prevention. Traditionally, its main action is supporting Wei Qi, or immune barrier. This means that it increases stamina, strength, and vitality while also boosting immune functions against pathogens and abnormal cell growth. Considered an adaptogen, astragalus has antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and antiviral actions. Anti-cancer properties have also been observed in laboratory tests with some compounds from astragalus working against gastric, colon, liver, and ovarian cancers. Astragalus has also been associated with prolonged survival time in acute myeloid leukemia patients. Studies also show that when used in combination with the herb ligustri, astragalus increased survival rate in people who were receiving conventional treatment for breast cancer. <clears throat> the second herb is ligustri. The fruit extract ligustri lucidi is a fuzheng herb used in traditional Chinese medicine. It is also called nu zhenzhi. Research published in the journal Oncology Reports examined how ligustri influenced apoptosis or programmed cell death in cancer cells located in the liver. The evidence suggests that ligustri may be a potential adjuvant herb in anti-cancer therapy. The third herb is artemisia, also known as sweet wormwood or ching hao. The herbs has 1,700 years of documented use in Chinese medicine. In 2015, the Nobel Prize in Medicine went to Tu Yo Yo, a Chinese scientist who discovered the active compound in artemisia called artemisinin. Besides being used for malaria and febrile disorders, Artemisinin also possesses potent anti-cancer properties. In a review of 127 papers published in the Annals of Medical and Health Sciences Research on the anti-cancer effects of artemisinin, the extract of this herb researcher stated, quote, artemisinin compounds may be a therapeutic alternative in highly aggressive cancers with rapid dissemination without developing drug resistance, end quote. It was found that artemisinin also exhibited synergism with other anti-cancer drugs and no increased toxicity toward normal cells. In other words, artemisia showed promise as an adjunct to conventional anti-cancer therapies. There are a number of other Chinese herbs used in fuzheng therapy 
that have been found to be safe and effective for cancer support. <coughs> Talk to your oncologist about incorporating Chinese medicine as part of your cancer treatment strategy. Of course, it's imperative that you always consult a licensed and experienced doctor of Chinese medicine to customize an herbal formulation that's appropriate just for your condition. In addition, the best results are achieved by collaboration of East and West. So make sure that you inform your oncologist about any new therapies that you are partaking. Tune in next week for the episode of Dear Dr. Mao when I'll talk about how acupuncture and self-acupressure can be very helpful in cancer recovery. Until then, live long, live strong, and live happy.